All right, so let's, let's talk about, um, and really this is what I just want to cover in this first sermon, is unbiblical dating, um, the, the wrong type of dating. And, um, and really when I talk about the wrong type of dating, it is that, that, that phrase, that, that, that period I was talking about, where you're not treating yourself as single, and you're not treating yourself as married, but you're treating yourself as this, this, this new type of relationship, which, which is, I, I don't believe is biblical, and, and I don't believe God recognises as a relationship, and I'll, I'll explain some problems with it. So I believe it's unbiblical dating because it's this relationship often, and this is often what the world does, right? Often what the world does is they have this relationship and it emulates a marriage. It's very marriage-like in the sense that you have this commitment to one another and, and you're exclusive and, um, and, and the problem sometimes with it is couples will do things that only married couples should do. Um, so number one, four problems with the practice of what I would call boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. And I, and I know some of you guys might, you know, do these sort of things. So I'm not being hard on you, but I just want to explain to you what I believe is, is the right thing to do. So four problems with the practice of boyfriend or girlfriend or what people would refer to as de facto relationships. So you might have heard this, this term de facto. And I, I looked up what the word de facto actually means. It's probably Latin because they're trying to make it sound smart, right? But de facto just means in fact. So the reason why it's called a de facto relationship, the government calls it that, because it's saying you're living like a married person, but you're not actually married. So it's in fact, but it's not actually in truth. You know, de facto. So it's of, of fact, it must be in, in, in Spanish. So it's saying, in reality, you are actually like a husband and wife couple. But in truth, you're not a husband and wife couple. That's what de facto is. And, the, and really, that's what people would think of when they think of this, this boyfriend and girlfriend type relationship. And I know we use boyfriend and girlfriend you know, differently. You know, there's different levels of boyfriend and girlfriend. But I'd say what the world considers, you know, this is my boyfriend or this is my girlfriend, as though I have some sort of claim to this person before we're married. This is, this is what I mean by boyfriend and girlfriend. So I don't believe it's biblical because you don't have a claim to somebody when you're not married to them. You know, they, the, 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 the woman still belongs to her father and you have no, uh, you know, um, uh, I guess, ownership of that lady. <clears throat> so, number one, I think the first problem is it's, it's not biblical. It's not biblical. And one of the problems is, you know, it, sometimes it leads to fornication because people think, well, now I'm boyfriend and girlfriend, therefore I have now have a license to do more things that I couldn't do when I was single. Um, so... We go from single to boyfriend and girlfriend, and they think, well, we're not, we're not just not dating. So, so now that we're dating, we can do things that non-dating people do, but we're just not going to do things that married people do. But see, God doesn't, doesn't make that line. You know, God sees you're either single or you're married, and there are things that married people do, and then there are things that single people do, and single people should not be doing what married people do, you know, because we, we, we're starting to blur that line. And whilst that line I acknowledge is grey, you know what I mean? There is, a, there is a grayness of what is acceptable and what is it, and that could depend on culture and conscience and, and all sorts of things. It's best for us to be as safe as possible um, according to our conscience. But, you know, the danger of trying to recognize this relationship as something different is the lines get blurred even more and, and things that married couples should do start to creep in and there's that temptation to do more and more of what married people do um, that should not be done between single people. So either there's a, when it's not biblical, there's a, there's a danger for fornication or you know, inappropriate activity um, or it's pointless, meaning that if you're not doing these extra things, because I mean, really that's what changes when you get married, you're living together and now there's that intimate relationship. So if you were to take out the intimacy of a de facto or boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, really, you're just really good friends. So it's even pointless to be even referred to as, you know, as, as, as a couple, in a sense, because um, it, it really is no difference to just being really good friends. And there's, there's no problem with that. You know, it reminds me of when, you know, I was in, uh, like, primary school and and in, in, even in kindergarten, I remember this far back, where it'd be like, yeah, you know, you, you get along with this girl and you're like, yep, she's my girlfriend. You know, and it's, there's, there's, no, there's, there's nothing like sexual going on at all or intimate going on. You're just really good friends. But, you know, I don't know, what, maybe I get the idea from my older brothers and sisters or whatnot, but it's like, this is my girlfriend. And then a couple of weeks later, I know she's not my girlfriend anymore. Now this person's my girlfriend. And then you go through primary school and you have different girlfriends and, and, and it's, just, it's nothing. You're just really good friends. So, 
you know, so it's not biblical. So either there's a temptation and a danger to fornicate or do things that are inappropriate, or, or, it, just, or it doesn't even make a difference. What does it even mean? You're just really good friends.